you could say one thing to the people watching this generation, what is that one thing, what would you say? You know, the harvest is plenty. Uh, the time is now. And, and, and I mean, here's my deal. I'm saying whatever you do, just, just go for it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Get out in the streets. Take the church outside of the four walls. We know how to have church in the building, but do we? But do we know how to be the church? Yeah, that's good. We we know how to we know how to facilitate a move of God in the building, but can you have a move of God outside of the four walls? And to me. To the old, the young, the middle-aged, the 80, blind, crippled, crazy, get outside the four walls and have a move of God. Do you think that God, try it? Do you think that God moves more so in an atmosphere where, really, His reputation, if you will, is on the line, and, and there's people? I that do believe. I cause here, cause here's why. In the church, you know, people are like, well, you know, out in the world. You ever notice when, 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 when you have a God moment at the restaurant or you have a God moment uh, at, at Waffle House or, or Walmart, you ever notice at the hospital, at the old folks' home, you ever notice how powerful that, that it, it's so powerful that you want to come back to the church and tell the church what happened, whatever. Are we getting a ticket? I don't know. All right, folks, I'm just going to let you know we Let's might... We might be getting a ticket. It might be that guy uh, back there, I think. Yeah. No, we're not getting a ticket. He put his lights on just at the right time. And he put his lights on. I wasn't speeding. He wasn't speeding. I'm going the speed limit. I mean, 80, which sounds fast, but we're in Yeah, 80, well, so. I keep looking, but come to find out that ain't miles per hour for all it's you rednecks at home. That's kilometers. Yes, I've been sir. messed up. So anyway, my deal is... You ever see how we have like a massive move when we're out in the streets? Mm. It's so impacting. We got to come back to the church and say, I was at the hospital and this happened. I was at so-and-so's house and this happened. To me, God would move and does move probably more powerful outside than he does inside. Mm. You know, inside, everybody, but on the out, I know it might just be one, but I've seen more lasting effect on the outside of the four walls than a lot of times I've seen the inside. Because mm -hmm. inside, you're expecting to have a move of God. Inside, and so when it's happening, you're like, well, but man, when you're one-on-one -on -one and that light comes on, mm -hmm. it's like, oh my God, they just yeah. got the revelation. Yeah. Or when you're outside and you pray for someone and it absolutely changed. Now, I know what people say, well, how many of those people from outside have you brought in? Well, here's the answer to that. When you got done doing what you were doing, did you did you follow up on them? Mm -hmm. Did you try to get them in a Bible study? What did you do to facilitate them coming and staying in the house of God? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And, and to be honest, you know, most folks don't have that answer yeah. because they didn't do anything. Mm. That's so good, man. It's safe, a little bit safe in the church. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can get away with it. Mm -hmm. You got an excuse. Mm -hmm. But when you're one-on-one -on -one and you pray somebody through the Holy Ghost or you're one-on-one -on -one and something happens, then to me, you know, I'm just mm -hmm. trying to find out what'd you do? What'd you do to facilitate keeping that person in the house of the Lord? That's a good word. I love it. You know, what did you do? I told one of the young people, I said, I said, somebody grab her by the hand and run her around the church, let her take a lap. In our church, we had poles. Deborah took off and jerked away and uh, hit the pole. It, it literally sounded like cartoons. It went, bing, and Deborah fell backwards, straight backwards. <laughs>